Apparently it's in there, through the trees. Go, go, go. No, just go, this way. We're so slow through the friggin' city. No, no, no. No, just... Ah, oh, it's so aggravating. When I want to go faster, I press A. I don't know why, but I just did that. And then it's like, follow the road, and I'm like, no! Ah, bushes. Another sunken temple. I know, I don't even know exactly what she did, to be honest. Like, I know she did something terrible, obviously, but I don't know exactly what she did. I cannot wait to ring the neck of that wretched girl, Kawit. Vengeance now. I hope it quiets her heart. I despise people like you. Here, come here. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw your body to the croc, to the, to the crocodiles, just like she wanted. Hang on. Let's see if there's any close by. Dang it! They're farther away. But. I'll throw her body in the river so the crocodiles will get her. <laughs> yep, tons of blood. Come and get her. Come and get her, boys and girls. She'll probably make your belly ache, but, you know. Uh, so I guess I can't go back and talk to her? Unless, once again... Looks like, uh, looks like it's probably just that. Uh, that one was kind of rushed, honestly. Like, it automatically makes you go, oh, nasty, bad, slaver, but, like, there was really not much, like, I didn't get any, like, context for anything that was going on. She was just angry, and, like, somebody was dead, and I don't know. I, I didn't know much besides they were slavers and these people have been captured. But I guess that's all you need. What? A new bow? I don't want it. Well... Uh, what? Oh. Too far off for some of from some of these things. But some of the little boat can't help. This kind of yeah. These these though these though these might show up soon. My blades get sick though. I really want to level up the uh, chest plate, even though I can't. I guess I can't really see it in some of these special armors, but it was for a while. I guess the bracers would be pretty obvious. But, anyway. 
Maybe I should go for the bracers next, try to get those purple. But now I'm gonna do the Tim Hotep song. I, I'm just making this this episode is technically gonna be like an hour long. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have to split it up. Cause I don't know what happened. Actually I do. I kinda lost track of time. I was like, I can do I can finish this up in like five minutes and then it was like fifteen minutes later, I was like, dang it, okay, well then. Oh, new location? Corrupted soldiers cash. This area? This right here? Okay. Might as well. Got a little fort wall. It's cute. It's a cute little fort. Can I hide? Oh my gosh, I can. Where are you going? Come back. This person knows. No. I think I'm a fool. I will show you. Are you? Are you fighting a lion? Or an, are you fighting an alligator? Okay. <laughs> you think I'm a fool? I'll show you. Oh, nice. I need to use my smoke bomb more. How about you guys just ensure mutual destruction? Ooh, go, yeah, 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 go get the re Do you think Berserk would work on, um... Nothing, it's nothing. <laughs> hey. I hit the button. my entire ability on it. And only now do I catch up. Yeah, bye. Stinking. the multiple I don't like it I don't like it like I know they're technically better I just don't like them they're technically stronger it doesn't surprise me that the predator bows are stronger I just am I wow I'm already halfway through level 28 what did I do what did I do is that it in this area Okay. Off we go. Clearing out Egypt, one corrupted little, little squalor pit as, as needed. 
Whoop. I just love how alive this game feels. Like, like how how integral to the Nile every like how you can see how integral the Nile is to everyday life. Oh, is this close? in there. Oh, it's farther. Oh, there it is. Out of the way! Do you have stuff? Step by the assassinate you so fast. I said move. Don't look at me, I'm just going by minding my own business. You're the one knocking people. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> the fabric moved. Oh, wait. This is somebody's storehouse. Nice. Great. Ooh, this is a nice place. Set bean. She also her cat. Oh, this is nice. This is very cool. Whoops, excuse me. There's gonna be a creep and listen outside the walls. It sounds like she's singing it sad, though. Yep, this is definitely a sad song. Or, it's not supposed to be a sad song. But she is singing it sad. Is she pregnant? Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. Oh, this is that! I you have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Hmm. I don't blame her for being paranoid. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue fiance? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. Oh, good. Okay. Objective in proximity already. Okay, I knew. So this is this is the follow up to the priest. Then there was something. I remember somebody said something about that. So I'm only just now remembering that there was some sort of follow up to the priest story. All right. If it I will get the ritual item first and then hunt down the bats. Keep feeling like she's screaming or something. She's lost 3 children, so I don't blame her for being paranoid. 
But it's also kind of like, uh, is this ritual... Oops, that's... I was trying to do the thing. Is this ritual gonna be helpful or harmful, you know, in the end? <laughs> it's stress... Stress and stuff can affect a baby more than anything else, you know? Like, if the mother is excessively stressed or in a stressful... An abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. The temple Suspicious. must be as thick with plots and jealousies as the court. Are, are you talking to... Me? Uh... <laughs> Good place for a shop. A Medjai? How surprising. Are you not do you not cater to legal people? To people with legal business? I have not seen your kind in some time, Medjai. We are a rare breed. As a merchant who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. <laughs> My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Okay. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. You, you're you okay with just leaving a random person in your... You freaking... Oh boy. I feel like this is not good. Hmm. Nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, ah so she's she is hiding test something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she's testing me. An inventory. A talisman in blue faience is listed here. Wax figurines. Ostraka. 45 demonic spell papyri, various. Oh boy, one death color, gold with lapis beads. Anka shaped mirror cases, fertility talisman. Oh, okay. I should keep looking around. Well, obviously, there's something back here. Or. Must be buff. The merchant did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. Ah, what's this? Nice dual sword. This is the nice stuff. Not a lot, but this is the expensive stuff. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. I mean, I can pay for it. What? Oh, I was like, I am flamingo one! Okay. <laughs> so good, it's already counted the... Did she? Oh. Yep. Long enough, Midjai. <coughs> oh, wait. You're scaring our customers. Why isn't it working? Oh, that worked. I was trying to do my, um, my out of smoke bombs. That was a cool move I did, though. I'll have to remember. Where does one find herons? Hey, lady. It's not a good idea. I could have paid you for that. I don't know why. Why you did that? Why you thought it would be a good idea to attack a Medjai, but I get that a lot, so... Okay. Uh-oh. Heron? Herons! I 
think. I think those are herons. The pink ones are the flamingos, but I think uh, the white ones are herons. That is a big pot of like grain or something. <gasps> Did they all fly away? They did. Oh, come on. Did I scare them away? They were there. Maybe if I, maybe if I, ooh, 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 what if I, if they come back to the area, I'll just wait. I wonder whose job it was to program those ships out there. What are you doing? Me? I'm just hanging out, man. Okay, maybe they'll come back in the daytime. Lucky that I picked up so many dead flamingos, though. I mean, actually, kind of not because all I can see right now are flamingos. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna tell me where to get a heron heron feathers? There were a whole bunch right here. I swear it. Okay, so. Got one. Maybe. No, oh, what? Are these not herons? Okay, so I just spent uh, like the last hour or so. Maybe not quite an hour, but pretty dang close trying to hunt herons. I used up two entire bows like worth of quivers full of arrows. And I killed like 50 birds. And I could only get one heron feather. And I was like, what the frick? And it turns out I must have been killing some other random white bird that existed over the water in Egypt. Because the herons are bigger. They look like that stupid thing. And I'm never going to forget them now. Like, I just thought all the white birds looked the same. Turns out you needed to kill the ones that basically look like flamingos but are white. Instead of the slightly smaller ones. I guess. Eh. Uh, I'm also to alleviate some of the boredom and monotony. I uh, killed some guys for their stuff. Oops. And I got a bunch of uh, bronze and iron. Which I think I will be looking into upgrading my stabilizer glove. Oh, and then the bracer, maybe? How does that require? <sighs> Not the green skins. Yeah. And I guess I could just go for a bunch of greens. If I can find a source that had, like, a bunch, because the metals are easy to get, like, if you just, if you just take out a wandering squad. But... Anyway... I hope Tim Hope Tip knows what she's doing. On the road to the pier why are, why are we meeting her all the way the freak out here, right next to Ptolemy's statue? That doesn't seem like a, a wise meeting place. I hope nobody tries to screw me over. Dun dun dun. You already screwed me over by having more than one white bird. Eh. 40 million year old fossil of a whale skeleton has been found in the Egyptian desert. I'm gonna look it up. Has a 40 million year old whale skeleton been found in the Egyptian desert? Yeah! In 2015. In June 2015. Archaeologists found it. And not... Oh wow, cool. 
Oh, wow. Like, wow, 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 wow. A basilosaurus, a prehistoric whale. Oh, it was discovered in an area of the Egyptian desert called Wadi al Haytan, which is known as the Valley of the Whales. Inside the fossil were the bones of another whale, which was likely to be a fetus, although experts say it could have been the larger creature's dinner. Oh, sweet! This is the only complete fossil of the creature in the wild. It was 18 meters long. Wow! Okay, the Valley of the Whales was, fought, was discovered back in 1902, and 10 fossilized whales have been found there. Man, I need to, like... I don't know. I need to, like, subscribe or something to, like, several different outlets that will tell me these cool things. I just want to know about all of it. And I just... I want to know in depth about all of it. And I want to go study the Valley of the Whales. Why were so many whales found there? Was it a particularly nice spot back in ye olden days? In the prehistoric days? Did whales just like to gather there? Is there a mystical, magical reason for it? No. But... There's a cool reason for it, and I'm gonna need to drop down. <clears throat> Whatever it is, I wanna know. I mean, you probably, you probably don't know. What, why, of all places, like, is it like the sediment in the area it was just particularly good at like keeping them preserved, or what? Why? I mean, I guess theoretically, the ocean floor is kind of covered in. Whale skeletons. I mean, I'm sure. I just, I was just thinking, it'd be kind of crazy to like come upon a, a floating dead whale, like, like on its way down, you know, kind of, like not floating in the top of the water, but like at the bottom or in the middle. I guess you probably just find the skeleton. You wouldn't really find if there was any sort of blubber, enough blubber left, it would float. So this must be where you can pick up like offerings and stuff maybe to take to the pyramids or something, temples. You shouldn't be wandering around this much. Not if you've had pregnancy problems. I found what you need. Temple. Yeah, it just took 10 years. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. This, are we gonna? Are you gonna get on something? Okay, good. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Uh, why? Whoa. Is it a bad ritual? Is, is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. Oh! There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. It's not your fault! Never, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. It's not true. Oh, it's the uh, man. We've had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. They always Good try idea. to blame it on the women back in the olden days. It was always the woman's fault. Oh. But the, the truth of it is that it's actually the man's oh. Oops, sorry, bird. It's the man who carries the... Uh, Gosh, why am I so low already? What the frick? Well, I hope she's doing well. Or are we supposed to just ride past? Because I can do that. Friggin' the woman 
carries an XX and the man carries XY. So in we the, are here. The women can only My sword contribute one. Your ritual and any and right the enemy. man can only contribute one. Has blessing on you. So obviously the woman can only contribute an X. And then the man's semen decides if it's an X or a Y that also is contributed. So ha! Take that, all you stupid kings of old. Kings and priests. Stupid heads. <laughs> women got a, women got executed for this sort of a thing, for not being able to carry a, a son. It's frustrating. They were tortured for it, just because it was it's not even their fault. It's not anybody's fault, really. It's just, it's, just, it's random. Random genetics. Makes me angry. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me, for I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. <sighs> okay, so I didn't have to be there for it, because it's a woman's thing. I was kind of wondering why I was there. I was like, Medjay must have like special privileges or something. Um. Yeah. Oh. Is that it? I hate it when they leave me hanging and I don't know what's going on. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like that's it. I guess. I can always run up this pyramid and get the checkpoint. I mean. I was thinking, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I was wanting to come back out to the pyramids, so... I'll ride this horse. Why won't they let me have my chocobo? Whoa. I don't even know if it actually has a different name, but it's my chocobo. Uh, this part's frustrating, where it makes you climb up a specific area. It's like, just let me climb the freaking pyramid. It's in a giant pyramid. Just let me climb. Why would you restrict it? Why would you restrict my ability to climb on this? I feel like my ability to climb isn't really restricted anywhere else, except maybe outside some temples and some areas. The walls are apparently too smooth, but... I'm an assassin. I'm actually not. <laughs> Anyhow, I think most of the more recent Assassin's games, you're not actually really an assassin for most of it, if not all of it. You, like, kind of find out about them in some ways, and you're kind of vaguely associated with them. Oh my gosh, that bird hunting was ridiculous, you guys. I couldn't see the difference between the white birds. I'm so frustrated. Pretty frustrating. I killed so many. You get three points. You get three XP points for killing little birds. And I got so many. I also picked up a random treasure to finish off a garrison because apparently I had killed the captain and the commander and looted one of the treasures, but I'd left one behind. So I ran in, nearly died, and just picked it up and ran like a little thief. But. Anyway, I'm gonna call this here. I have no idea how any of these are gonna be edited. It's fine. I get Horizon Zero Dawn like that the other day, too. It's nice to just play sometimes, too. I didn't mind. I actually didn't mind that much, honestly. It's nice just running around, taking a look at things. But, anyway, I'll never get the sound of the herons out of my head now. Or whatever little stupid white bird sounds those are. And, uh, anyway, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.